The presentation skills course has been designed with GIS, I think, to help any sports industry professional. This is an essential skill set. We have our technical skills which allow us to enter the industry, but probably how far we go will be determined by our ability to inspire others to action, condense our key messaging. It's a huge skill set. It's one we can use in just about every walk of communication life. I can't emphasize enough, it's a huge, huge bedrock to any professional. It's something that I've always absolutely hated, is speaking in public, but it's a massive part of who I am and who I want to be in the future. So to be able to come here and work with Mark is absolutely amazing and it's everything that, that I need. The ability that he's got to make you feel so comfortable in such an uncomfortable situation and something that's always been a fear of mine for as long as I can ever remember growing up is amazing. It's, it's a talent in itself. The reason I've signed up for the public speaking course is to help to polish up certain areas of, of, of my broadcasting, but also understanding a bit more about public speaking, communicating effectively and, and, and trying to get the best out of myself. The course is aimed at sports industry professionals, but for example, for a batch of people that we're doing it with today as we record this, there are all sorts of people in the room from former elite sports people to sports industry professionals to those that are transitioning their careers as well due to a love of sport. Right across the board, this is a skill set that I think people think you are born with or stuck with. What I hope this course does is teach them that these skills can be honed and developed just like their technical skills. Ooh, rule of three. Really enjoyed that. I read a little bit about it before I came on the course. It was in a book that I've read recently, but um, yeah, Clem explained it really well that that can be quite a good way to remember things, especially if you're speaking and it's a little bit off script and you don't have props and things. Just remember those three key points that you need to deliver. Current role, I think it's just going to be confidence confidence to be able to get my point across to my um, other staff members and the people within my team and also the confidence um, within primary with the scholars that I work with just to really um, relay the confidence I have to them and then in, in turn hopefully make them more confident young men. Whenever we say public speaking people obviously panic and get very nervous and think about the sweaty palms and the, the voice going dry. So this is preparing people to stand in front of an audience whether that's a small group you see on a regular basis, whether it's a huge ad hoc group. It's teaching them mechanisms to deal with nerves, how to structure material, how to begin, how to end, but also how to bring your presentations to life using the all-important tonality. The voice is a, a brilliant instrument, so how to speed it up, slow it down, have that variety, and also those all-important body language skills, which, as you can see now, I'm using all the time. <laughs>